so excited right now. So excited. Was that worth the 4am bedtime? Yes. Yes it was. Yes it was! Although I'm lucky tired today. <laughs> Lisa gonna wrap this up in game six because uh, the extra sleep would be nice. But I only want extra sleep if it's because we're going into round two and I need the extra sleep. Just putting that out there. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Usually I sit here with like some bullet points in front of me, some sort of research done, some sort of script. Not script, like bullet points. I sit here with some sort of structure usually. Today is not one of those days. <laughs> I, I do not have that. This is just a quick kind of me rambling on about the Leafs for a few minutes because I feel like it. I want to document my reactions to Leafs games as we go on so that eventually in the future I can watch them back. And hopefully one day I'll be watching them back in the knowledge that we have a cup. But we're not there yet. We're not there yet. I'm not going to hide myself. I'm not going to get too cocky. I've been through enough in the few years I've been a Leafs fan. I don't need to put myself through anything else. Anyway, if you are new here to my channel, then make sure to subscribe. I talk lots of things hockey from across the pond. And if you are still here after watching me for months now, I salute you. And uh, make sure to like this video and drop a comment down below your reaction to the Leafs game because Leafs Twitter was a roller coaster last night. Last night in general was a roller coaster. Not gonna lie, I sat for the first little bit of that game kind of just with my head in my hands a little thinking why do I make these choices in life? Did I did I go all the wrong paths? Did I go all the wrong ways? But I, I knew down they could do it. I knew they could do it but they were going to have to start pulling something out of the bag and pull it out of the bag they did! Unreal. Austin finally got the memo to kind of start shooting a little bit more like he did in the regular season. I love Austin with all my heart. I also put on Twitter that if we get past the first round, I'm getting a 34 tattoo. So, I'm saying it here too. I will get it on my ankle, I think I've said it on my ankle. So if the Leafs get past the first round, I will have a tattoo edition on my ankle of the number 34. Uh, yeah, and he got the memo last night to kind of show up. Game winning goal, loved it. Loved it with all my heart. Maybe he heard me from across the pond. Also, Nylander and Tavares, they had been under a lot of scrutiny before this game and I had seen a lot of tweets and a lot of media things kind of really making out that they didn't belong, which I did not like because all along the way, Tavares had been doing stuff that people were just completely not recognising. He might not have been scoring before last night, but he was always making little plays and passes that were really adding up to bigger things and people were not recognising that. But last night, all those JT haters had to just kind of suck it up and be like, oh, there he is. There he is. Some of us never doubt him. I love John Tavares with all my heart. I think he's an incredible man. And also, Nylander. Nylander was also getting a lot of stick before the game last night. And even during the game. Even during the game. I understand he's made some mistakes lately. I completely admit that. Does that mean that we scratch one of our best players and line up? No, because look what he did last night. We won that game. Although the main reason we won that game, Jack Campbell. Jack Campbell was made, with the omission of one save that I think maybe he could have had, he really got us through that game and got us that win. He was an incredible goaltender last night. This series was always going to kind of revolve around the goaltenders in a way. Vasilevsky is arguably the best goalie in the world right now. So we need to be matching that up at the other end and I really think Jack Campbell has shown up for us and done that and I am so proud of him. Anyway, what a game that was. I can't even express. Unreal. We deserved that so much. We definitely earned that win despite we're not going to talk about John Cooper's statements again because I already tweeted about his attitude in like press statements before on Twitter and it, it blew up a little and people started arguing with me. So I'm going to just try and not... It, do, it doesn't take away from us. It doesn't, take away, it doesn't matter what anyone says. It does not matter what anyone says, especially out of the Leafs fan base. We can enjoy this as it is. 
No, we are not through to the next round yet. Yes, there is still a chance that we may not make it. <laughs> yes, there is still a chance that we might not make it. But you know what? Right now, we can celebrate and be happy, and that is also okay. But I was, I was loving the the vibes on these Twitter after the game last night. Um, such a nice place to be, and a very. I knew a lot of people who were like at that game last night, either in in the square or actually in in the arena. I am so happy with, for you, but I'm also incredibly jealous because uh, I, I want to come to Toronto so bad, but it's 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 a very expensive trip. It's an expensive place to go. I've only just finished uni. I have a part-time job. It's really expensive, but I want to go so bad. And I know, I just know if we get anywhere near it that I'm going to be so tempted to just uh, pay for things that I right now cannot afford to pay for to get there, which is probably not a good idea, but... We'll see how it goes. I'm trying my best, guys, and uh, I, I'm going to start saving up for it, basically, instead. I can't just jump on an expensive plane to go to an expensive hotel to watch expensive hockey. I, I wish I wish I could, but right now in my life, as a student with a part-time job, that is not feasible. But I'll get there. Anyway, this was just like a very quick five-minute kind of video, just me to fling on my channel, because uh, I want to I wanna be able to watch these back and be like, oh, I remember filming that, I remember doing that, I remember saying that. Uh, so yeah, here I am doing exactly that, despite the fact that it's... It's... What time is it? It's two o'clock in the afternoon. It's... it's yeah, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so this is not like a quick reaction to the game in any way. It was 4am, what do you want me to do? I, I cannot film at 4am guys, I have my limits. But anyway, thank you so much for being on my channel. Thank you so much for being on Twitter. Twitter was a lovely place last night. I, wo I woke up this morning and my phone was just like blowing up with um, notifications from Twitter. It was crazy. I posted like the grainiest selfie I've ever posted. I took it and then nearly didn't post it because it was such bad quality. And somehow it got over a thousand likes. I don't know why, but here we are. Twitter's a weird and wonderful place. Anyway, thank you so much for being here, guys. I'm very grateful as always, and uh, I will do probably another one of these after game six. Game six, where we have the chance to take it to the next round. And if not, if Tampa get the next one, game seven, here we go. So until then, keep breathing, because my heart rate was going up last night. And I will see you very soon for more Leafs chats from Scotland. Bye, guys.